When computers need to store a lot of information, they do so in something called a database. Now, a database has a lot of different tables of information in it, just like the one on the right-hand side that you're seeing now. Uh, so this table here contains a lot of information about different types of cheeses, okay? Um, but the SQL is used I like a programming language to pull out information from that table. And I'm going to give you a few examples to show how simple this is. But there's three words that I want you to remember above everything else that you might remember in this video. And that is select, from, and where. You can help remember them by the initialism SFW. So if you're doing things in databases, you are pretty sure they're going to be safe for work. OK, so select from and where three very important words. And using these words, you can start to see how to, you can put together these things called queries um, to get information from the database. So let's say I wanted all cheeses which are over the price of two pounds, so over the price of two. And I only want the names of those cheeses. I can do select name because I just want the name from cheese table, cheese table being the name of the table that you can see here, where, and this is the bit where I can bring in my conditions, so where price is greater than two. And if I do that, I'd expect to see Stilton, because that's 2.99, and Edam, because that's two pound 19. They're both greater than two. And I wouldn't expect to see any other sort of data, okay? But let's start seeing what happens if we um, start filling around with some of these conditions. So instead of um, select name, cheese table, and price, let's do select um, name and the color. So I want two bits of information now. So I'm gonna do name, so I'll put comma in, name, comma, color, from cheese table, where strength equals two, all right? Now that will get me one result, which is mild cheddar, and then it will also give me the color as well. So it will, the result from this would be mild cheddar along with the color, which is orange. So far so good. So we've got select from and where. We can do a little bit more than this though. So we can join two conditions together. So for example, I can do select, uh, let's just keep it with name and color. So select uh, name and color where strength is greater than one, and so I can use my Boolean words here. I can use and or or and color equals yellow. And if I do that, there's only one cheese which has got strength greater than one and color equaling ye uh, yellow. Edam doesn't count, of course, because strength is one. It's not greater than one. And that is mature cheddar. So what I'd expect to see as a result is mature cheddar and then yellow because I've asked for the color as well here. Okay, on to these things called wildcards then. So there's a few shortcuts that you can take when you're querying data to make your life easier. So if I wanted all the information for one row, I can do this, select and use the asterisk. So I'm gonna select everything from cheese table where color equals white. And if I do that, I would expect to get the whole line of information about Stilton. So it should be Stilton, 299, white, and five, because five is the strength. I can also be sort of less specific, if you like, if I'm looking for um, names or any sort of words within a column. So if I wanted all the information from the rows that have a name that begins with the letter M, then what I can do is where name, like, and then I can do this, I can do M, so it begins with the letter M and use the percentage symbol afterwards. And that means any name that begins a letter M and has any combination of letters and numbers after it. So mature cheddar and mild cheddar. And I expect to get all the data for that. And that is everything you need to know about SQL. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.